What's cracking, peeps? It's the A Train coming back at you with another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. Yes, it is cold outside, but pre spawn is right around the corner. So let's go catch those big girls. We got a lot of love from Z Man. So, first, we got the Willow Vibe. So, what first stood out to me about this is the Willow Leaf Blade right there. So, that's basically going to have a quick vibration, but it's going to be more subtle. So, you're not going to have a lot of turbulence basically. You're, it's just gonna be slim. Think of it as a scrounger basically. So real super tight wiggle uh, when you definitely need to tone that chatterbait down. This is definitely way to go. Next you got this bulbous head and these 3D eyes. So that's gonna give those fish an aiming point, something to aim for. Great little hook keeper and you could add your own little style of swim bait or uh, soft plastic jerk bait to this. You're definitely gonna get bit. So this is a good bait for when you really need to put some fish in the boat, basically. This is definitely the way to go. Check it out. Also by Z-Man, we got the Cross Eyes Chatterbait. So David Walker helped design this thing with one thing in mind. How do we get a chatterbait in the heavy cover? Great stiff weed guard. So that's going to aid in helping get this bait through timber, through pads, through all kinds of just different kinds of structure and cover, basically. So. Also, it's got a double hook keeper, so it's really gonna secure, hold those, uh, your plastic, excuse me, plastic trailers um, to this bait real good. So fish after fish, your trailer's gonna be able to hold in place. Lots of vibration, so definitely throw this, clear water. This is definitely the time of year to throw this. Um, it's almost at pre-spawn, so you definitely wanna have a chatter bait nearby. So check these out. Also by Z-Man, we got the darters. So this was designed for basically the chatter bait, but all you inshore guys, you like to fish for those toothy critters, this is definitely gonna hold up on you. Makes a perfect trailer for those chatter baits. But also, if you wanna fish it by itself as you would like a soft plastic jerk bait, it's definitely way to go. What's also cool about it, it's got these hook slots basically, uh, cause the Z-Man plastics are very durable. They're bulletproof almost. They were able to already put pre-cut holes into these to be able to put your hooks through those basically. So you're not gonna be able to tear those baits up, get your hook in and out. So they did a great job with this, check them out. Also by Z-Man, we got the long shot. So this, for all you drop shotters out there, this is definitely what you want. Super buoyant, but 15% of this bait right here is salt and fuse. So that's gonna aid with the buoyancy of this bait. So this bait is very responsive. It's gonna move, twist, undulate, do it all with just the slightest twitches of the rod. And it's also pre-cut for that nose hook right there. So you get your hook in there. Super easy, but this is definitely the way to go for drop shot. And you're not gonna burn through so many baits because how durable this plastic is. So definitely gonna get you a bit. Last but not least by Z-Man, we got the Pro Craw. So all the anglers demanded, they wanted a bigger version. Here you go, right here. This bait's gonna be able to do it all. 100% buoyant, so you guys that like to flip. Um, also on your Ned rigs also, this thing's gonna stand up in that pissed off crawdad position. Everything about this crawdad is correct. Everything from the pre-tuck tail to the little legs, bulbous eyes, this crawdad, super durable. Definitely get you some of these. You're gonna get bit, I promise you. All right, this next product, you know the A-Train's gotta bring you some swim bait love. So by Scottsboro Tackle, we got the MM26 swim bait right here. Super sticky hooks, that's the first thing that stood out. I mean, these things, they got some bite to them. A-Train just got bit right there. But um, four, four jointed pieces, this thing's gonna have so much action, whether you like a stop and go. I like to work these things like a jerk bait almost, just snap, snap of the rod. It's gonna dart left to right, slow roll it. It's just the nicest swimming swim bait there is out there. Uh, this time of year, fish are gonna start fattening up, getting ready for that pre-spawn. They wanna get those calories in them, so definitely get you some right here. Next, by Gamakatsu, we got the spring lock spinner swim bait hook. What's awesome about this, the spring right here, it's actually two springs on one basically. So this is gonna really lock your swim bait in. The bite on this hook, between that, that swim bait's not going anywhere. They also add that little underspin and you know how the A-Train is about his underspins. You gotta have an underspin on your swim baits. Uh, definitely just brings an extra flash to that already delicious looking swim bait they got. So uh, super wide gap hook on there, um, come in all different sizes. Definitely, this is something you wanna add to your arsenal right here. 
Next, by Gambler, we got the Komodo swim bait. So this little bad boy could do it all right here. Swimming on a ball head, makes a perfect jig trailer. Add this to a chatter bait. Um, this thing does it all. Doesn't look like much, but this thing packs a punch. So it's got a little slit right there you could hide your hook in. But um, this thing's got all kinds of ribbed appendages on it. So that's gonna help displace that water. And that tail doesn't look like much, but with the appendages pushing all that water, that tail's gonna have so much kick, so much vibration. It, it's awesome, so I, I can't wait to put this thing in the water. I've seen some videos on it. This is definitely one of those things you're gonna wanna stock up on. It's pretty awesome. Also, we got some love by Six Sense. So here we are with the Hogwalla. This little creature bait, I don't know if it's supposed to be a crawdad, a lizard, but this thing looks very tempting right here. So with the pre-spawn and the spawn, all of a sudden bed fishing comes into play. And you put those lizard-like creature baits on those beds, they definitely get bit. So here we are with all these appendages, just the slightest movement of the rod, that tail, it's going to do it all right there. So much action in that little tail right there. So uh, Texas rig, Carolina rig, um, you can even use that as trailers also. You're definitely going to want to have some creature baits this time of the year. Definitely check them out. Also by Six Cents, we got the flush soft jerk bait right here. So this right here, best way for me to fish it is weightless with just a three or four rod, uh, extra wide gap hook right here. Twitch it, dart it, it's coming over everything through grass. Pre-cut in the belly right there, so that can help hide the hook. Also makes a great trailer for certain baits too, whether it's scrounger likes. Um, Z-Man had the little uh, willow vibe, uh, perfect for that also. So there's just different baits you could fish us with, different ways to fish it. So def definitely this time of year, going behind people that are throwing hard jerk baits, give them something a little different, give them a soft jerk bait, definitely the way to go. Next, by G-Crack, we got the Stealth 7th Blade Umbrella Rig. Um, this is definitely the time of year you want that umbrella rig. The shad are all bunched up, swimming in big giant schools. So uh, this right here, it's got that blade appeal. Add your baits to that. Uh, just remember, whatever state you're fishing for, check the regulations to how many live hooks you could have. But the umbrella rig, I really need to say nothing more about it. This is a great presentation that's already preset. You don't have to bend any wires. Just add your hook, add your swim baits. This thing is ready to go. Also by G-Crack, we got the Gyro Star swim bait. So it was made specifically for this umbrella rig right here. A lot of action in this little bad boy right here but you can feel free to throw this on whatever you want, whether you want a ball head, use it as a trailer, swim jig, it's gonna do it all. So definitely stock up on these, you're gonna get bit. Thanks for tuning in, and for more information on the product seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's episode, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let the A-Train know which of these products you're most pumped about.